You are hearing the voice of Kim Warser of the Life by Design Volume 2 book, which is about restoring balance between work, play, and family. And honestly, there's no one better to really kick this conversation off than our number one best-selling author, Lisa Wages. What's up, Mama? Oh, just glad to be here. Glad I got actually got on the Zoom. So <laughs> you are the epitome of that, of that, like, how do we figure this thing called life? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Who is Lisa? A little bit about your backstory and what do you do? I was a former teacher of early childhood special ed. Love little kids, love their zest at learning, um, love helping families just find solutions. But um, when my own, my son actually was diagnosed with severe autism and epilepsy, I took a step back from the classroom. And um, in his journey to restore his health, I uh, found the ability, I found this business model of sharing products and into the network marketing world, which was crazy. I'd never heard of it before and I didn't even know. Um, and somehow over time that pushed me into the digital marketing space of like going online because I had to work around these people. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been an interesting, I never thought of myself as an entrepreneur. I never thought of being, um, you know, out there online. I, as a teacher, yeah, but those are three to five year olds, not like grown up folks. So it's, it's been an adventure. Um, but aside from him not being sick, I wouldn't trade any of it for anything because there's people in my world that I've never met if I hadn't been on this road. That's amazing. And I think there's going to be a lot of people who can really appreciate your story of like, we wear this mom hat and you are in the education arena. You know, you are in the ECE world. And what was going through your mind and your heart making that decision of like, my boy needs me, you know, my family unit needs me and whatever it is, is just not working for me right now. So having the strength and really the courage to restructure that for your family, what was that like for you? Like, as we said, hashtag life unfiltered. Yeah, you know, at the time, I found myself that I, one, I couldn't bear the thought of, and I'm putting my ex-husband being the one at home with him because I was not okay with that decision. And as I said, now it's next. So I was right. I did have the right instinct, but I also did not want to put, as much as I love the kids in my classroom and I wanted to do right by them, I couldn't stand the idea of being all there for someone else's kids and going home and having nothing to give to my own. Um, you know, my son, then my daughter came three years later. I, I couldn't, I just couldn't bear that, but I loved what I did. And I loved, I, but what I loved is helping people. So it did feel like I gave. And so many times I think I'd already have my pension. I could like, if we live in fine, you know, why did I do that? But I also know that on hit the journey with him, that I found I don't necessarily like to do exactly what I'm told. I don't, I mean, except for my coach, but I, even that I argue with, but I don't <laughs> like, <laughs> she laughs. I, um, but I don't like just following the status quo. I want to find a different way. There's a different, different path or a different, there's always a different way to get to the same conclusion. And that's going to, um, following, school rules and you know the things that the now teachers are expected best decision ever i would never at this point pivot back in a classroom i would have to do it a different way because i don't like i said don't like being told what to do i love that you know we do live in in a world today where like you said if, if something isn't working for you there's so many options out there where you can for all intents and purposes create your life by design and that's why we chose to name our book that. That's why, you know, I named my business Life by Design Solutions because it's like, if you don't like it, you have the power to change, but it's not easy, right? There's a lot that goes with it. And I want to dive into your story so they get to know, hey, it's hard, but is it worth it? You know, so 
it's speaking of hard, it's not easy to put yourself out there. And we're very visible online. And now we've put ourselves in a book that became a number one best selling book. Uh, we hit number one in time management on Amazon. How's that feel, by the way? <laughs> uh, you know, I, we wouldn't, if it was just my book, wouldn't be there. But it's being with all the other authors is what catapulted everybody's story collectively. Um, it's pretty amazing what everyone's been through and come out the other side even better and stronger. It's, it's, it's humbling to think, you know, it makes you realize, you know, I can't really complain. You know, I mean, other people have been through things that are way more significant than even what we've battled. So yeah, it's, it's puts it in perspective. It's so funny. Like every author interview that I've done so far, I, I had the word humble in my head before you said humbling, but I'm like, you're, we're, we're all, you're all so humble. And I don't think any one of the authors has looked at this check mark like, yeah, I did it. Yeah, we did it. Everyone's looking at each other's story going, wow. Right. It's never woe is me. It's never life sucks and you can't make it through. It's like there's always someone, first and foremost, who has a more tear jerking story. There's always someone who has less than you. And I'm so proud of you for really rising to the occasion and not letting circumstance stop you. And you, yeah. you hear Lisa's story and I'm not like uh, we're we're going to get into that. So first, why did you agree to the book? Why did you say yes to this project? You know, I have, I don't know, you said, I'm doing this, do you want to do it? I'm like, sure. I just jumped in and I thought about it later. Crap, what did I just agree to? Um, because I felt like, I've always felt that we've been put on this path with both of my kids' health issues and even my challenges before, that there's something more that I've been put on this earth to do that there's something, and like you said, there's people who've been, I watch the news or you watch Dateline, not that I do that that often, but you see people who've been through way worse. There's gotta be a purpose. Like there is a purpose for my challenges, for his challenges, for me to make a difference on earth. And why not better to start? And I'd never done it before. And I thought who better to try to write a chapter with having Kim guiding me and you know helping us along the way of course we want people to read the book right it is life by design volume two which is about restoring that balance between work play and family um, because you need all of those components really in your life to feel fulfilled so without giving it away because we want them to pick up that book whether it's through you hopefully they come to you to get you to autograph your paperback for them what do you want them to feel or take away when they read your chapter? I think no matter how difficult something may seem or how, um, and that's easy to say, no matter how hard it is, there's always a solution, but there's always a way to get through the fire. There's always a way and it may not, you may, where you end up may not be anywhere near where you thought you were going to be, but it's okay too. And I think the fact of, it, I touch on in the chapter that it's like, I kind of, I went all in, all in restore, trying to restore my kids' health, all in with my business. And I've never, I didn't, I wasn't balanced. It was like all consuming and it's okay. It doesn't make you less of a professional, a parent, or whatever, if if you're not 100% all in. Like, it's okay to, like, have something else that you are focusing on and enjoy. And it doesn't make you less of a parent or less of a business owner. You know, we, it's, just, it's okay to be balanced. And that sounds so simple, but it's so many of us don't. Yes. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it becomes... I let trying to restore him almost destroy me because I couldn't get him to the level I wanted him to, to recover to. And, you know, then it was, well, okay, now I have to go all in with the business. And that became, I was not in the right place to be building. Like it's it, there, you have to take care of all facets of yourself your family it's not it, it 
just can't do all, go a hundred percent in all directions. <laughs> I guess life goes I mean. on. So, you know, life is going, business is going when we have hardships in one area, which we're human beings. There's a hundred percent guarantee that you're going to be smacked with some hardships or some challenges, right? So you can't just turn around and hit pause on one of those areas in your life and say, well, I'll just pick it up later. Life is going to keep moving, baby. So you do that very well. And I'd love for you to share maybe one tip, um, one mindset hack. What's one thing, because I always say sometimes we have to be off balance in order to be balanced and that's okay because there's going to be times where your son or yourself need you more than the business needs you there's going to be times where the business needs you more than you have time to hang around the pool you know and, and kick your floaties around so what's one thing that you would share with them i you know what has been helpful is actually journaling where i want to be like literally in a year in three years, in five years, whatever I choose for that day, writing down exactly what it feels like to be what I want to achieve or where I think and go all in with writing that because then this I'm able to feel it like I'm like like I'm reading a good book or something, writing it. And then I feel how that would feel. What would it feel like, you know, to have the golden retriever puppy again? Um, what would it feel? <laughs> that's a minor goal. What would it feel like to be in the house of your dreams or where you want to live by the water or whatever it is that because feeling that raises the vibration because sometimes there's a lot of low vibration going on around here. So I found I need to do something to actually um, see it, feel it, embrace it to then um, you know, it's just me. I, I you know, I I kind of had to do <laughs> had to do that different too than what most people do. So <laughs> I love I, it. So I want to talk about your products because, as you know, I'm a huge mental health advocate from surviving to thriving. So you have a free gift. Do you mind telling us a little bit about this freebie? Sure. Um, it is a quiz. Uh, it's to go from surviving to thriving. It's a quiz. It asks, asks some simple questions you can fill out. You can check and see where you're functioning at. And it gives some recommendations for uh, not only products, but some recommendations for sleep or eating or things you might want to look at and tweaking in your own regimen. So you can go to that like area of having the the vigor and you know flourishing in life and not just like like yeah yeah going through the motions i mean so many of us nobody feels that they're like at the depths of despair sometimes sometimes we are but most of us are not really embracing life we're just going through the motions of life and that's not how we're meant to live we're meant to live with happiness and joy and vibrancy um you know, and I know that sounds like, well, some supplement, it's not just supplementations, it's diet, um, getting enough sleep, but that's where I come in as at helping people figure out where, where'd they go off the rails? <laughs> where, how can we help move the needle forward? And I will say firsthand, like you're a phenomenal, phenomenal coach. Um, you really, really know your stuff. And that is just one of the reasons why I really wanted your contribution to this book, to this project, because it's we're putting our stamp on the world um, and there's such beautiful people. And so I'm really glad that you said yes. And mental wellness is the core of everything. And like Lisa just shared with us, it starts in the gut. So um, I know personally, if I have questions or if I have frustrations or if I have struggles, I hit you up and I'm like, Friggin', just help me out, you know, and you're just so good at how you explain things. And it's, it's really, really cool. So guys, really, please take Lisa up on her offer here. She's got a great quiz for you. And it's some great self-reflection time for you to be able to look back and go, well, hey, maybe I think I'm doing really well in this arena. But when I sit down and kind of quiet the noise and realize maybe I'm out of balance there, you know? <laughs> and, and, and no one gets the, I mean, I get the name of who took it 
the, with their email or, you know, like, but I, nobody else sees the results. And the only way I know even what any of these results are is if they share it with me, like, what does this mean? But it's, it's definitely not something that anybody puts public out, um, you know, like on the company website, it's, <laughs> it's behind closed doors. <laughs> yes. Before we go real quick, I want to give you just like free speech, free speech does exist in the Kim Ward world. So if you were to say anything to our audience, what would that be? Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck in your head. Don't overthink. When Kim says take action, do it. Because sitting stuck on the fence is paralyzing. And it's really, it really hurts your backside. And it keeps you paralyzed. Like it's just, it's okay to just jump. Link is below from surviving to thriving. Take that quiz, learn more about yourself, connect with Lisa. She is very, very, very knowledgeable and extremely genuine, as you can see. Pick up your copy of the Life by Design Volume 2 book. You can message Lisa directly and say, how do I get a signed copy of that book? And Lisa, thank you so much for everything. All right. Bye for now. Bye, friends.